another day, another worthless criminal to hunt down and subject to the furry arm of the law. What's going on, YouTube? We're back with another right, episode of Sam and Max. Oh, celebrity host will be here any minute. Oh, okay. right. The crew's working on Mira. Stupid, no talent. I was. I was in the middle of something, Beehive. Could you let me finish? Fine, we're cowboys. Weren't you just. I think she just defied the laws of physics. You do that Sorry, every day, Max. Days, how many times a day I have to do that? Things tend to be hectic here. Doesn't bother us a bit. Sam and Max, consummate professional actors, reporting for duty. <laughs> you said duty, Sam. I There's knew a cow. you guys were right for the show. Speaking of which, could you perhaps explain the show a bit? Okay, here's the drill. On Midtown Cowboys, you play a pair of cattle ranchers trying to raise a herd in an apartment in Manhattan. My Uncle Ernie did that, except it was pigs. And not in an apartment. I only see one cow. It's a small herd. You're struggling, okay? Okay. You've got this landlord, Mr. Featherly, who has a very strict no-cows policy. Devilishly inconvenient. I begin to see from whence the hilarity sprouts. Yes, Featherly is always barging in, and you try to hide the fact that you have a cow in the apartment. Lots of sight gags, usually something gross winds up happening. Simple enough? Great. Where's the script? They're perfect well, for it. Well, there's a slight hitch. The cow ate most of the script, so you're going to have to ad-lib the show. Ad-lib? Yes, make it up as you go. Improvise. Well, That's the story of my life. life. has given us plenty of practice. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll be working with Philo Pennyworth, who plays Featherly. He's a brilliant actor, classically trained, Globe Theater, and all that. Just set him up. Oh, to he's do gonna be a funny, chicken. And he'll handle it from there. Check. Anything else? Actually, yes. We did save one line from the script, and it's really important to work it in because it's the product placement that pays for the whole show. One of you will have to save the line. Me, me, pick me. All right, Max. Your line is this: Better get the serious toothpaste. I like it already. Great. Okay, let's just go for this. Is wherever going to be? Let's start taping the show. Um, we're never okay. ready. Now remember, your landlord's at the door, and you don't want him to know you've got a cow in there. Ready? Action! They probably had it a cow. Really, that's the tagline. I know you're Crap. Okay. A cow. Uh, lampshade. Let there be light. Hey! Okay, I'm gonna put the lampshade on the cow. There Open we go. There. Life of the party. Oh god, he is a chicken. Aha! Uh -huh. I know you've got a. Well, well, well. Who's your guest, boys? Uh. Our chef! This is the French chef we hired to satisfy our inexplicable, insatiable craving for omelets and duck a la lunch. And frog's legs. I like mine extra crispy. Oh, a French chef, eh? I love French bread and, and French fries. I went to Gay Paris one time myself, you know? It was back in my army day. What the heck is this? Cow pie, great. Let's just. I don't care if it is just a prop. I'm not touching that with my bare hands. Uh, hey, Birdman, talk to me. Have you Wanna heard hear the a joke? About the three firemen and the football. <laughs> Please, this isn't that sort of a show. Ooh. Save it for Myra. Cut. <sighs> Let's get the set back the way it was. Okay, is there anything else? Can I use any other props? Hi, cow. Hey, Can you bossy. talk? Are you literally just a cow while... These are all thesauri. Who decorated this set? English majors working for peanuts, as usual. Uh, rude! Accurate, but rude! Alright, let's try let's this have again. Another go with that scene, shall we? See if you can squeeze in some gross-out humor this time. Ready? Action! They, they, I definitely need some gross-out humor with the cow pie or something. Open up in 
there. I know you're hiding a cow. Let there be light. Okay, we'll try the lampshade hey! again. Open up! There Open we go. There. Life of the party. Aha! I know you've got a... Well, well, well! Who's your guest, boys? Uh... The Prince of Thrombosis! This is the Crown Prince of Upper Thrombosis, here in the U.S. on a fact-finding tour. Note his excellent ceremonial headgear. Huh, a prince? Golly gosh! I don't think I've ever met a real-life prince before! Of course, I am descended from royalty myself! I'm my mother's cousin's side! It was the back of the... Quick, do something funny. Hey, comedy's hard work. Come on, just give me the give me the cow pie. I don't care if it is just a prop. I'm not touching that with my bare hands. Wait, can I if I do the French chef thing, can I trick him into eating it? Pretty ingenious disguise, eh? What the first you disguise the cow, then you cut. Please don't okay. take it. That's my job. How am I expected to create art if you're not even going to try to perpetuate the farce? He's right, guys. You can do better than that. <sighs> Let's get the set back the way it was. Okay. I shouldn't fool with the set while we're not taping the show. What in the Sam heck do I gotta say to get this guy to eat a cow pie or some shit? Alrighty. Let's just try. Let's one have more another time. go at that scene, shall we? Don't forget to work in Max's line. Better get the serious toothpaste. Okay, action. Alrighty. Enough of this cowboy shit. Open I am just. Ugh. I know you're hiding a cow. Lampshade. It's something lampshade. I'm just gonna Let's try to get him to eat the cow pie. Open up. There we go. Life of the party. Yes, yes, chicken, chicken, hurry up, hurry up, move faster. This is the French okay. chef we hired to satisfy our inexplicable, insatiable craving for omelets and duck all around. And frog's legs. I like mine extra crispy. I went to gay Paris. Yes, yes, we've heard this. I don't need to know about your trip to Paris. Can I pick up this plate? Who left this lying here? I can pick up this plate. Oh, it is about. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, are we really doing this? Oh, we're really doing this. Say, what's this? <laughs> I I'm sorry. What was that you said? Uh, Mugu Gai Pan. He said Mugu Gai Pan. It's a French dish the chef has just made. Whoa, super. I'll try some of that. Where's the plate? I can't oh, help no. but feel this is all terribly wrong somehow. Aha! Hmm, interesting. That's one word for it. Hmm, there's a familiar flavor. Fennel, maybe? Oh, God. <laughs> this moo moo whatever stuff is really good. What's it called in English? Cow pie. Really? Well, that's funny. It sounds just like... <laughs> oh, my God. Oh God! Did I really just film that? Going to love it. Naturally, I'll be in my dressing room refreshing my muse. Don't call me for at least an hour. 
Nice work, you guys. Here's a clip for your reel. Thanks. <sighs> Let's get the set back the way it was. Well, you know, we, we succeeded in our filming. That's really all we need to do. Can let's just see it. Can I get through this game show? Who's never going to be a millionaire? Look, Max, there's the door to Myra set. Let's get in there and liberate her literally captive audience. Sam, forget the hostages. There's somebody famous. It's Hugh Bliss. Who Bliss? No, you Bliss. Inventor of prismatology? Oh, Help what is millions this? unlock the power of their personal color spectrum? Hugh, right. Hugh Grant, Tom Cruise. Happiness guru. Like we didn't have enough of those already. I want to meet him. Fine. But if he magically pulls another rainbow butterfly out of somebody's ear, I'm leaving. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Oh, yeah, God, I do remember you, and actually. You are Sam and Max. Where are your Free shoes? Police. <gasps> How do you know? Do you believe in magic? Cause I do. Oh yeah, you're you're something out of my nightmares. What what are you doing so, here? So, Hugh Bliss, what brings you to WARP? I too am here to meet Myra. <gasps> How do you know we came for Myra? Oh, <laughs> you said it. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, Stop don't laughing. You see? I can read your mind. As the resident Doubting Thomas of this crime-fighting duo, I consider it my civic duty to say, prove it. Okay, think of something, anything. I am gonna think of something Pennies to serve. the eyes of a dead mime. Well? I must have been silently mouthing the words. Really? Think of something else. <laughs> I don't know if I want you to talk to me anymore, but I'm gonna keep doing this. Six million three hundred seventy-three thousand four hundred eleven point nine eight. Sam, lucky guess. Was it? Think of something else. Uh, I I don't want to continue Enough this. You this disturb me. Farce. Stop it. <laughs> do me, do me. Oh, oh my, and that's unspeakably depraved. Yeah, you got it! Wow, you're amazing. This is disturbing. Why do you want to see Myra? Business with Myra? I'm to be a guest on her show, silly. Yeah, silly. I'm spreading the word about my new book, Emetics, the handbook for multicolored happiness. Oh, take a copy when you, you leave. Can you just give Shush. us the 10-word summary instead? We're on a pretty tight schedule. 10 words? Oh my! How about... Prismatology is the answer. Unicorns are pretty, and rainbows too. That's ten. I, 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 I don't, I don't feel comfortable. I gotta, Sorry I to gotta go. Your little joy fest, but I've got a situation here. Never fear, pretty lady. Hugh Bliss is yeah, yeah. Here. Anyway, our game show host went on Myra hours ago, and he still hasn't come out. Think you can fill in till he gets back? Can a butterfly fly? I agree with Sam yes, on this can. one. Oh, what do I do? When a contestant comes to the podium, just read him a question from the card. Then, when he gets it wrong, insult him and tell him to get off the stage. Oh, no, no. Prismatology teaches us to love everyone, no matter what. Right, just read the cards. Okay. I still love you. I'm scared <sighs> of you. Okay. Do we need to participate in this? That's where I'd stand if I were the host, which I'm not. Are we going to be the contestant? We've got a contestant, people! Hit it! Great. I'm sorry, did he From just rainbow fart teleport? In the bowels of WARP, it's who's never going to be a millionaire! I need help. With special <laughs> guest host, Hugh Bliss! Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Our first contestants are a pair of professional freelance police officers. They enjoy firing their guns randomly and running over things. Please welcome Sam and Max. Well, at least the introduction is proper. Listen, Sam, they love us. Welcome. You know the rules. If you can answer even one question correctly, you'll walk away a millionaire. Start okay. loading the armored cars, Hugh. Because my brain's stuffed with enough worthless trivia to power a small Chilean village for decades. Same! It's true! Okay, are you ready? 
Oh, happy day. It's an easy one. Oh, it's never going to be an if easy one. If a man one. sets out from the Horsehead Nebula in a spaceship traveling at thrice the speed of light, and his father leaves from Rigel 2 at the same time going half the speed, how many nanoseconds will it be before time paradox causes the first man never to have been born? Uh, 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 uh mm, mm, no hope? I'm not sure, but I'll say false. That's not really a valid answer. You lose! This is an outrage! I demand a recount! We do have a fabulous consolation prize. A copy of Emetics by me! I don't... I don't... Less. I don't want your book. No thanks. I'm content to leave with just my burning shame and newfound sense of inadequacy. Okay! Find out which poor schmuck will be the next to blow his chance at millions right after these messages. Oh, you're disturbing. You're, you're, can I? Apparently, WARP can't afford armed guards for their game show question. That's cheating, Sam. Good thinking. Don't get your pretty <laughs> long ears on a twist, little buddy. The answers aren't on here. Uh. In life, there are no answers, only questions. Another prismatology credo? No, I read that in a cereal box. I'm seriously deficient in riboflavin, by the way. You're seriously deficient, all right. Alrighty. Hugh, Hi, Hugh buddy. Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Stop staring at me with those evil eyes. What is prismatology? Oh wait, no, we already talked about this, didn't we? Prismatology is only the greatest intellectual, emotional, and spiritual revolution ever Scientology ripoff, for Thank sure. Goodness, we have someone who can give an impartial assessment. Shh. Tell us more. Join Prismatology today, and you too can experience the magic of true bliss. That goes against everything I've ever hoped for, and yet now I'm strangely attracted to the notion. Snap out of it, little buddy. We've got a case to solve. Uh, Dazzle show me a magic trick. Feet of ledger domain, why don't you? Okay, I'll show you the magic of prismatology in action. Pick a color, any color. Ochre, ochre. No, mo. Bird sienna. You have horrible uh, taste in colors. How about a color I've heard of? Hmm? Pick a color, as long as it's red, green, or blue. You've got yellow and orange on your tie. Blue. Do blue, Hugh. I know what you're thinking. Is it real or is it illusion? It's disturbing. I challenge Do it again. You to change colors again. Okay, pick a color. Any color. Green. It's not easy being green. Oh, but it is with magic. Also, you clearly had purple in there. Let's take a picture Say, with the green you know, man. Can we get a picture with you for our scrapbook of instantly forgettable memories? Splendid idea. Oh, his text I is green now. I thought of it. Oh, and in fact, I did. He, hence the camera. Now gather round. But how will you take the picture? By magic. Okay. Say, chocolate covered puppies. Chocolate, chocolate covered, covered puppies. puppies. That's so disturbing. Picture, magic man. Oh. I seem to have misplaced it. Hmm. Check your pockets. Maybe I left it there. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. I, I don't want to be here anymore. Can I give him Myra? It's polite to knock. You do know we're taping a show here. Great day in the morning. It's Myra Stump herself. Yourself. Oh, what's the name of that cooking show host that with the butter? Martha Stewart. Is it a, it's like a Tyra Banks, Martha Stewart, Oprah Winfrey. Are you feeling okay? Look a little spirally. Are you feeling all right? Of course I am, sweetheart. By the way, when was the last time you brushed your teeth? And you should really be flossing. You certainly sound like your normal self. But why are you keeping everybody in there? I'm just doing what I always do. Slave and toil to put on the best show possible. 
It's just, after opening presents from Well Wishes, I felt so compelled to make this show extra special. Are we in the hospital or something? Just let them out. How about letting your hostages go now? What do you say? Hostages? They're my guests. You know, if there's one that fries my burger, it's the rampant victim culture in American media today. Oh, boo-hoo! Myra's audience all got luxury minivans. Now they have to worry about where they're going to park. Bah! I Actually, it's mean, more to worry about the taxes. It's like I'm always telling people, don't think of it as a bullet wound. Think of it as a transfusion opportunity. Can we come in? Can we come in and see the show? Can you? Don't you mean... May we come in and see the show? That's much better. No, we're at full capacity. The only people getting in now are famous people who are appearing on the show. Can we be guests? Can May we appear May. as guests mm. on your show? I excel at talking about myself. Are you famous? Perhaps. In an internet petition or there ought to be a law kind of way. <laughs> Not good enough. I'll need evidence of your explosive star power. I blew up a public restroom last Great, week. Great, so we gotta spend this entire day getting famous. For one thing. Well, what if we... Recording contract and a clip from your hit TV show. You're not anybody these days if you don't act and sing. Recording contract, TV clip. Piece of cake. No cake. I'm on a diet. But I will naturally need evidence of the latest juicy scandal you've been involved in. We have to be scandalized? Of hey, course. this is where Sybil what comes in. What do you think this is? Are you sure you want us to answer that? Look, it's very simple. Show me a recording contract, a clip from your TV show, and some evidence of a scandal, and I'll squeeze you in. Oh, is that all? I have a clip of our As sitcom. It happens, we brought a clip of our wacky hit sitcom, Midtown Cowboys. We're the stars. Well, I'm certainly impressed with how far standards for entertainment have fallen in this country. Um, Accurate. Thanks. But you're also going to need a recording contract and a nice juicy scandal to be a guest on my show. All righty, we'll be back. Here, get my autograph book. We'll be right back. It's too nice to stay indoors. You boys should go play outside. And you should stop making that face, dear. It'll stick if you're not careful. What face? That just is his face. Kind of possessed. Okay. I saw a cooking show, so maybe we go see who's on the cooking show? This is a f embarrassing- Oh, embarrassing idol! Hey, that's a, that's a recording contract waiting to happen. I just don't see how- Oh god, it's the soda poppers, no! I don't think the public would swallow that. Hey, Sam! Do my eyes deceive me, or are those our formerly hypnotized former child star acquaintances, the soda poppers? Sweet uh, jellyfish paste I thought on they a were stick gone. What are the odds? Could we find another judge? What about one of those guys? Hmm, I don't suppose either of you would be interested in being a judge on Embarrassing Idol, the hot new show where we make uncomfortable entertainment out of people's misplaced faith in their own singing ability. Oh, me, me! I promise I'll be completely unbiased in my abuse of the contestants. Fine, fine. Take a seat. I mean, yeah, you're just Goody. you're Simon now. I get to sing. Welcome back to Embarrassing Idol. The judges are chomping at the bit, so say hello to our first contestant, Peepers. <laughs> oh, is there a shark in Am the water? Blue? Who are you? Can I fly? Well, that was a bit sloppy, but I particularly liked how you hit that high note. That always impresses me. I think you'll get my vote. I'm definitely voting for you. After all, you are my brother. Very impressive. You sound almost exactly like a sick cat being dragged through rusty farm machinery. But this is a singing contest, so I think I'll have to vote for someone else. Um, is there anyone else? Not so far. <laughs> yeah! All right. Hey, squeaky toy. I'm taking your lyrics. Can I look at these? Sure, take them. I've got them memorized. Am I blue? Who are you? Can I fly? Very you could have at least rhymed the last line. Oh! Oh! 
Blue! Blue man! Blue man! Uh, cowboys! <laughs> oh, I got an idea. I got an idea. I got an idea. Walk faster, dog. Okay. Lyrics? Hey, a perfect fit. Oh, this is how I get Bosco's voice change, Imadu. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Do the color trick I again. I you to change colors again. Okay, pick a color. Any color. Be blue. Do blue, Hugh. Alrighty, Bye. goodbye. I'm gonna go compete in a game show and win a million dollars. We've got another contestant. Hit it. Welcome back. Our next contestants are these guys again. Okay, are you ready? Oh, I am born ready. Hmm. The question is, am I blue? Yes. Yes, you. Yes, you are. Well, what do you know? That's absolutely right! Yes. Congratulations! You're a millionaire! We're rich! They'll be rich! We just went bankrupt, so we will not be back after these messages. Oh my god. This is awkward, but we don't actually have a million in cash. Sweet mother of all quiz show scandals. We'll have to give you a million dollars worth of food stamps. They're right over there. Hold on. Can you buy deep fried licorice ropes with food stamps? We'll take it. Mm, probably One, not. That's prepared food. Two, three, oh. 174, 175, 999,999. And a million. Let's go spend it, Sam. It's burning a hole in my pocket. It's putting quite a bulge in mine. Well, I hopefully can spend those at Bosco's Inconvenience Store. Otherwise, I'm in trouble. Okay, I do want to know what's in this uh, other room, though. I still don't know how I get a singing career. Oh, it's you again. What's this show about? <laughs> What's the story with this show? Cooking Without Looking? It's a cooking show aimed at motorhead bachelors who have never seen the inside of a grocery store. Is there a big demand for that? You'd be amazed. Okay, how do you get everywhere how do you before do that us? Teleportation trick where you're always everywhere ahead of us. Trade secret, honey. Where's the host? Where's the host? Is he in watching the Myra show? No, he's one of the few who isn't. He got food poisoning while he was taping last week's show. Right in the middle, in fact. Was it gruesome? Yes, and unfortunately, this show goes out live. Goody. Can we get a tape? Can we get a tape of the show? This one? No, it's broadcast live. We don't tape it. Well, see, see you later. later. Probably. This bridge isn't even a fridge. It's a fake. Welcome to Cooking Without Looking. Oh no, I'm on the show. A typical bachelor kitchen containing no fruits, vegetables, or healthy ingredients of any sort. The show where we take a random assortment of condiments and fairly edible items and create a meal within minutes. Filling in for Chuck Flagon this week, these guys. Oh no, Just I'm in trouble. Oh, I'm Hello, welcome to the show. Thanks, Sam. It's great to be here. Not you, Buckethead. The audience. Oh, <laughs> greetings, worshipful fans. Remember, the only reason I'm on TV is because I'm better than you. We've got some furious cooking to do, so let's get right to it. What are we making, Sam? Uh, the chilled some of a while. Bunch of gunk in a dish. We'll just get some ingredients from the ingredient <laughs> rack and add it to what we professionals call the yummying hot. 
Isn't that a pot? Max, we both know a pot is what you and I fight over when we play poker. This is the yummy ain't hot. Okay. Great. Um, let's go with some buffalo you chips. Two of buffalo chips. You really can't add too many buffalo chips. Um, some any of these MSG is great. Has a signature ingredient that no one has ever heard of or used. Mine's MSG. If you put it enough that you feel a burning sensation in the back of the neck, forearms, and chest, you're just about there. Okay, and um. Uh, none of these. What is the least bad lard? Skimp on the lard. That's right. If you take the lard out of lard ass, all you have is ass. Well said, Max. I gotta keep going. Can I just cook it? Now I just want to cook it. it. Right you are, little buddy. Into the oven it goes. And through the magic of TV cooking show time. Ta-da! You've successfully oh, no. the laws of God and man. Oh boy, let's take it with us. It looks like it's gonna come alive. No, 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 no. I don't want to be on this cooking show anymore. I want my own kitchen. I want my, my nice fancy knives and my... Everything that I have. My I want my spice rack. I want my tofu and my vegetables and my steak and my... I, I want food. <laughs> Your food. Okay. I think... I'm gonna call it here. We'll take a trip down to Bosco's as soon as I figure out how to get out of this room again. And... Yeah, that should be good. We'll, we'll, we'll go buy the helium-filled balloon. I'm guaranteeing it's a helium-filled balloon. How convenient. This way we can shoot a TV show about people watching a TV show. And if the show they're watching is the show of themselves watching, the universe could fold in on itself and explode! Best leave it turned off, then. I think I'm just gonna go with that one. 